Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my at home nail routine. Um, it's really easy to do. This is my alternative for going to the salon since the beginning of quarantine and I figured out a routine and the supplies that I like to use. Um, so I'm in no way professional. I'm sure there is a more professional way of doing this at home even. But this is a method for people like me that don't know how to do nails that well, aren't very good at it. But this passed the test. I have always bitten my nails, so I like having my nails done. So this is like an alternative at home for acrylics that is um, low damage and low skill. So everything I have, all supplies, I'll be showing you and how I use them. And everything's from Amazon too, so it's pretty accessible and affordable. But like, I have all these colors I wanted to show you and you can kind of choose which ones you like and I'll link everything. Um, but let's go ahead and just get straight into the video. All right, so this is the supplies I'll be using. Um, these are all the colors that I have. And then I went ahead and swatched all of them and labeled all of them. So I have like more neutral colors and then I have more like vibrant colors. And then I also have this heat lamp, which came in a set. Um, and I really like it a lot. It works really well. And then I just have nail polish remover. Um, and then this is a caboodle. A lot of you guys are wondering where I got this, what it's called. I got this from Target, but you can also get it from Amazon. And I've seen it at Urban as well. And it's just really, really perfect for organizing nail stuff and like makeup. And it comes in different colors too. So I just keep all of my files, clips, um, all that good stuff. Use this for when I do my French tips. And then these are the acrylic nails that I buy in bulk. And I just size them up to each nail. Um, but these are really affordable instead of just buying like one set that's pre-painted and all of that. Um, but yeah, this lamp specifically, I don't know about all lamps, but this one does fit right here perfectly, but I just decided to put it in there. But a lot of you are wondering if this caboodle fits heat lamps. I can't say all of them do, but that one specifically does fit really well. All right. So yeah, these nails are pretty sad. I have always bitten my nails, so I like to get them done just because that way my natural nail grows out um underneath and it prevents me from just having stubby nails um also my tattoo faded a lot so it used to be prettier <laughs> anyways so yeah first start off with sizing your nails so i'm gonna go ahead and just match them up to each nail according to size um i'm gonna put those aside and this is a part that is essential for keeping your nails on longer. So what you could do is just take these um, acrylic nails or false nails or whatever you want to call it and just glue them on your nails. Um, they're not going to last as long. They're going to pop off a lot sooner. So what I like to do is file my nails down and it just is better for the adhesion process. It has something to grip onto. Um, I know you can use like an actual nail buffer like at the nail salon, but I don't trust myself with that, especially in my non-dominant hand doing it like that. I feel like I would just cut myself and just, I'm okay with just using an, a normal nail file. Um, but at this point, you're basically just going to prep your nails so you can like push your cuticles down and, you know, if you want to soak your nails in warm water before to make it easier, you can too. But right now, just keep it simple. I'm just gonna file my nails or like for me what I've noticed is I want to keep my nails pretty dry uh, at least for like 24 hours after doing them I feel like the glue just needs more time to heal and water tends to loosen up the glue so in order for it to last longer for me I've noticed what works is um, avoiding like taking showers and stuff or like washing um, or like doing dishes like you can wash your hands obviously but like doing dishes that might um, cause the glue to loosen up a little bit, at least the first day. So I usually like to take a shower before I do my nails. Um, I've just noticed that they last longer when I don't do, when I don't do stuff like that the first day I get them done. 
All right, so I went ahead and filed my nails and pushed my cuticles in just a tad bit. I remember when I was little, I used to call cuticles cuticles. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and glue on my false nails. I just use just regular old nail glue and um, any nail glue will do. It's also nice to have one just like in your purse or whatever because these do tend to fall off just like after week one, just like a single nail here or there, just while you're like pulling on something, your nail might pop off. So it's nice to have an extra one just to glue back on. <laughs> Was that Jasper again? And once I glue it on, I like to add a little bit of glue on the actual nail and then the fake nail. And when I press it on, you want to make sure that your whole nail is being glued on. And I kind of just press down on it like this really hard for at least like 10 to 15 seconds just to make sure the entire nail is being glued on. All right, so I have glued all my nails on this hand, and I like to work on one hand at a time just because it's easier. So I'm going to go ahead and um, clip these down to how long I want them and then file them into the shape I want. And I usually like it pretty short and natural. I feel like the shorter you go, the longer the nails have lasted, at least for me. It's just least likely or less likely for them to like snag and get pulled off. But I've done nails for like my sister who likes them like pretty much as long as these are and hers have lasted more than a week. So it really depends on just how, um, how rough you are with your nails. Like I, I am pretty rough. So, <laughs> but I like them short anyways. So I'm going to do that. And if you're not really confident about filing, um, it really helps to pull up a picture of like nail inspiration on like Pinterest or Instagram and just kind of follow the shape of whatever it is in the picture um, and just try to match it as best as you can. And that way you have a guide because it be, can be kind of hard to file it without having it um, in front of you to go off of. So I've done that before, but... Like I said, I like mine pretty natural, so I just file them shorter and shape them so they're even. But you want to make sure that the nail edges aren't curling over too much from your natural nail, just because it can kind of cut into your skin and be uncomfortable. Um, so I like to kind of go in with the file right along the edge right there, just to make sure there's a little bit of space. All right, so I filed them down. And they look like this, so like compared to my natural nails, um, they look a little bit better. So like I said, it's a pretty short length and it's totally up to you how long you want it, um, what shape you want it. The nail thingies I have here are pretty long and very easy to file and all that good stuff. So, all right, so I filed both of my hands. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the nail polish process. I use a base coat um, foundation and these are the two brands that I have used that both work well. So this is the gel polish um, foundation and top it off. And then another good one is the Modelones or Modelones. Um, base coat, top coat, and this actually also came with a matte top coat, which I love having that option um, when I am into a more matte color mood. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and use these two today. As for the color I want today, I think I'm going to go pretty natural. I um, think I'm going to do this one. So... 99 so first things first is we're gonna go in with that base coat the foundation and you want to make sure that after filing your nails down you get kind of like the little bits underneath that curl under 
and just any like dust or anything like that i have this little brush i like to go in just kind of off to the side here i'm brushing off those nails and then these ones but yeah so first things first is foundation and i'm gonna apply a coat and then go in for 60 seconds and then apply this side and go in for 60 seconds and i like doing one hand at a time just so that way i don't get confused or mess up my nails um in the middle of each coat so i'll go ahead and do depending on the color maybe like two to three coats sometimes even one if i want it more sheer um if it's like super pigmented or whatever you just want to make sure that you shake each bottle before you use it. I know it's like common sense, but I actually catch myself forgetting to do this. And then it comes out like super clumpy. Alright, so this is one coat. Um... I think I'm gonna do maybe one or two more. So, all right, top coat time. All right, so I just got done painting my nails and this is what it looks like. I kept it pretty natural and that's all it is it's super easy and these will last at least a week usually around a week and a half to two weeks um but yeah it took me about an hour to do and that is it so i'll go ahead and show you guys some of the swatches i have or actually all the nail polish i have like my entire collection the swatches all that good stuff so you guys can kind of tell what the colors are that i use and which ones you like so yeah